Today, we have one of the coolest gadgets you didn't know you needed. This is the very versatile File Hub by Rav Power. Welcome to It Came From A Box, this is Sergio AM, and since 2015, we've been using the first version of Rav Power's File Hub as our travel Wi-Fi router to both share an internet connection, but also movies and photos with the family during trips. It's one of the coolest gadgets that I've always wanted to share, and now's the perfect time because Rav Power sent us their newest version. And the best part is we're giving away two of them. Let's jump right in. So in the box, you get a user guide and a lifetime warranty card. Very impressive. Along with a USB to micro USB charging cable. And of course, the RAV Power File Hub. A quick look around at the ports and IO. On the left side, you have an SD card slot. And on the front, we have a dust cover that protects a USB A port, micro USB port, the reset button, and an ethernet jack. All right, before we talk features, to set up the File Hub, you first need to download the companion app, which is available for both the Apple Store and Google Play, or you can use their web UI. To keep it short, you can customize just about everything, be it your login information, network customization, and it even includes a file manager so you can manage the files on your attached storage devices. The app and web UI are also the main way that other users can access those files. Now let's go through all the features. First up, it's a power bank. It charges via micro USB port and it can then charge your devices with the USB A port. It has a 6700 milliamp battery capacity, which can charge an average smartphone a little over two times, but it only has a one amp output, which works best to top off devices or for emergencies. But the main use for the battery is that it powers an attached storage device or a hard drive, as well as the device itself, duh. In our testing, when streaming to the Max 5 devices, it lasted about 6 to 8 hours. So it's a battery, but it's also a feature-rich router with multiple modes. First, it works like a regular router. You just hook it up to a modem, and now you have your own Wi-Fi to connect your devices to the internet. Next, we have bridge mode. With it, you can connect to an existing Wi-Fi network and broadcast it with a new network name and password with the added benefit of extending its range. So it's like a repeater. Finally, you have AP mode where you can plug in an ethernet cable and convert that wired signal to a wireless one. Very cool. So if you're in a hotel or an Airbnb and all they have is an ethernet cable, you just hook it up to the file hub and you now have your own Wi-Fi network that lets you share that internet connection with multiple devices. This is also an awesome way to bypass those annoying hotel authentication or login screens for devices that can't or have a difficult time accessing them, such as a Chromecast or a Nintendo Switch. So it's a battery and a router, but it's also perfect for sharing files and media, hence the name File Hub. You can plug in a storage device in three ways. First, you can connect an external hard drive, SSD, flash drive, or all together with a USB hub to the USB port. Or second, you can use an SD card or adapter in the SD card slot. And third, you can connect your phone, tablet, laptop, etc. through the Wi-Fi connection. You can share those files by either the app or by going on a browser and connecting to their web UI, and you can now access all the files in each of those devices. It's perfect for gatherings, events, or trips, so when we go out, I just start up the file hub in the car or even in a plane, and everyone with the login info can connect to it to stream movies or shows that I have on an SD card or flash drive. And this way, no one has to use up space on their own device. Now I'd suggest to limit it to three to five connected devices because more than that, and you can congest the connection, especially with larger files. Speaking of, when it comes to streaming videos, I'd stick to HD over 4K because if not, you might experience lag or buffering. Aside from sharing files, the file hub is also perfect for backing them up. You can of course move and copy files from one connected device to another or use their SD to USB one key backup. You just plug in a hard drive and an SD card you want to back up, wait for the LED to stop flashing, and then hold down the SD to USB button until the LED flashes again, and wait. 
The transfer speed is about 12 to 18 megabytes per second, and when it's done, you should have an SD backup folder in the USB device with all your files. This is an awesome feature for photographers, videographers, or anyone who has an SD card that they want to back up on the fly without a computer. So whether you want to offload photos and videos from your phone, back up an SD card, stream media to a few devices, or bypass those annoying hotel login screens, the File Hub can tackle all of that and much more. It's honestly one of the most interesting and versatile gadgets we've come across. And we're giving away two of them. I want to thank Rav Power for sending these two out for us. And if you want a chance to win one, first, subscribe. It helps us grow so we can one day do this full time. Next, comment below telling us how you would use the file hub along with the hashtag sharing is caring. Two weeks later, we'll announce the winners on Twitter. That aside, if you're looking to pick one up and want to support us at the same time, check out the affiliate links in the description below. All right, coming up next, we have some more Nintendo Switch videos, so make sure to sub and ding, sub and ding, to stay notified for that. Uh, I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and want to help us out, you can do so by clicking that thumbs up button. And while you're at it, why not subscribe for more content? It's free. We also love to hear you out, so please leave a comment down below or talk with us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm Sergio IM, and I'll see you for the next box.